holy name of Jesus, amen. Despite losing both her legs and damaging her right arm during the Iraq war, Tammy Duckworth became the first disabled woman to be elected to the House of Representatives. Back in 1986, Apple commanded a healthy 16% share of the PC market. However, that market share eroded to just 2.7% of the PC market by the year 2000. Things got so bad for Apple that at the end of the dot-com era, its stock price reached a dramatic low of $6.56. But thanks to Steve Jobs' return to the company, Apple shifted its focus on the MP3 market, and you know the rest. Now, Apple has become a leader of the market share with 72.7%, with shares now trading over $200 a share. Everyone loves a good story, something that's gone bad and then being reversed. It's kind of like our story for today. In the kingdom of God, up is down and down is up. Actually, the kingdom of God is all about turning things right side up. It's just that right side up may look upside down from our earthly point of view. From God's perspective, though, the way things are in his kingdom is just right. The way that things ought to be. Listen to our text. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Theologians often call this the great reversal. The great reversal that in the end, God is going to turn things upside down, or really, right side up, from the way that we see things in the world today. Jesus applies this teaching into the context of a real-life situation, that of being invited to a dinner party. Jesus himself was at a dinner party, invited to dine at the Big Shot Pharisee. And he noticed that many of the invited guests were trying to choose places of honor. So Jesus uses this occasion to tell them and us something that applies not only to dinner parties, but also to the kingdom of God. He says, When you're invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in a place of honor. Let someone more distinguished than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, Give your place to this person, and you will begin the walk of shame to take the lowest place. But when you're invited, sit in the lowest place, so that when your host comes to you, he may say, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. But what Jesus is teaching us here is far more important than dinner etiquette. This is the principle that holds true in the kingdom of God. And you heard it in last week's gospel lesson. And behold, some who are last will be first, and some who are first will be last. Now the question we all ask is how do we make sure we get invited? How do we make sure that we get in? Or maybe the better question is this. How do we come in for all are invited? With what sort of attitude do we come before God? Do we bargain our way to get in? Barging as though we own the joint. And everybody ought to pay attention to me. Give me a seat at the head table. I deserve it. Look at how great I am. I should get a prize. I made it to church. I saved my prayers. Of course not. That's not how we come into God's kingdom. 
And that's what Jesus is warning us in the parable for today. Rather, we come before God with humility, yet we come boldly. And believe you me, you and I have a lot to be humble about. You and I are poor, miserable sinners in need of Christ's forgiveness. Our lives are not matched up with God's design. You and I have sinned over and over again. Just think about the people you've hurt. Think about all the wrong turns you've taken, things you know that you should have done differently. Think of how you've neglected God's holy word. Think about the times you've ignored what God has been telling you to do. That's right. You and I have messed things up. That's why when we come to the party, we come before God in lowliness, in humility, and repentance, knowing how gracious God is to even let us into the party. Talk about a great reversal. This is the greatest reversal of all. Yes, God leaves his mansion in the sky to take on human flesh, lowers himself to be like us, all so that we can take the place of honor at the banquet feast. Yes, Jesus humbled himself by being lifted on a cross, and he did this for you. And he did this because he loves you and me and all his creation. The great reversal is thus also the great exchange. Jesus took your sins and all the things that you have done wrong, and in exchange, he gives you his righteousness. That's why God the Father sent him to do. And he did it. He did it for you, for me, and for the whole world. By our Lord's sacrificial self-humbling, and by his gracious resurrection from the dead, You and I are now lifted from death to life, from sin to righteousness, from shame to honor. You and I are invited boldly to the banquet hall. And amazingly, you and I have been given a place of honor at his party that has no end. So here's your one takeaway. Today... We reflect on the great reversal of fortune of all time. Jesus came down to be man in order to take away our sin. And he did this all so that we can humbly come before him and his throne of grace. Yes, because Christ humbled himself and was obedient unto death, we are not only invited, but we boldly come to the foretaste of the feast that has no end. Today, your loving Father invites you to move up to a better place. God exalts you in heaven and on earth because his son came down from heaven and humbled himself for you on the cross, taking your sin upon himself, earning your forgiveness and salvation by his suffering, death, and resurrection. God is the host in this parable. And because he loves you, he says to you this morning, friend, move to the better place. In the holy name of Jesus, amen.